paper and pencil cryptography. In today's age where we are looking for more and more powerful computers in order to do encryption right, what room is there for paper and pencil cryptography, like in antiquity? Well, there are two points of interest for paper and pencil cryptography. One is very practical, that you could use right after hearing these tricks that we will discuss today. The other one is a very important point of principle. If you remember, we talked about the idea that we have a plain text, the plain text, we have a key, they all go into an encryption mechanism that produces the cipher. That's how we do things in cryptography. Plain text to cipher with a key. This box, this is the encryption box. It's the box that has the mechanism to transfer the P to the C. Usually, we assume that the enemy, the adversary, have a good idea of what this box is because it's more uh, difficult to change very often. So, uh, so many items have this encryption mechanism that surely the adversary found out how it works. And the only Reliance on secrecy is based on the key remaining obscure, remaining unknown. But the mechanism is known. So when we use AES or we use RSA, of course, they are very well defined. Everybody knows uh, how it works. The only things that the adversary doesn't know is what is the particular key that we use for this instance of using AES for encryption, or RSA, or PGP, or whatever. The mechanism is known, in general. But what if it's not? What if we manage to keep this secret, the encryption mechanism itself? Think about it. When an when an adversary wants to crack the C, he tries one key, well, he, go, he goes here to the decryption box and puts one key and check, is this P? No. So he tries another key, key two, checks it out. Is this the encryption? No. Check another, etc. Now, what we are saying is that we will use a key space, a number of keys, so large that uh, the adversary will have to spend thousands of years to go through all the keys to find the, to find the plaintiffs, and that's our security. However, we, not, we don't know how fast are the computers of our adversary, or how smartly he can search for them through more likely key and less likely key, etc. By contrast, if the adversary doesn't know what encryption mechanism we use, if that is a question mark, then we have a much bigger advantage. Why? Because the possible encryption boxes is not finite. It's infinite. Any algorithm, any formula, anything that you have the imagination to think of can be used as an the encryption box. And if this mechanism is kept unknown, we have fantastic security. So, let's see now how we can use this idea and come up with obscure, unknown mechanisms where the security is based on this obscurity. And because they are obscure, they can be very simple. They can be ciphers that can be written on a piece of paper 
and encrypted and decrypted on the fly and still provide security. And here Let's there. say I want to uh, secure my uh, bank PIN number. Four, seven, six, nine. That's my PIN. I want to secure it. Now, how about I do the following? I take every digit here and I split it into two that together add up to this digit. So instead of four, what do I write here? Instead of four, I write one, three. Instead of seven, two, five. Instead of six, four, two. Instead of nine, uh, three, six. What happened? This is the plain text, the black. I have encrypted it into a ciphertext. So this is the plain text, encrypted it into a ciphertext. And if I write this on my notebook, or on my iPhone, or anywhere else that a hacker can find out, if they don't know the method that I use, they will have a hard time to translate this back to this. Now, if they know, it's a cinch. In fact, it's so easy that if I write it, I can very easily dial the pin right away, just in my mind, add them up. This is four, this is seven, this is six, this is nine, four, seven, six, nine. Now, while we are at it, we can see something very interesting. A principle of uh, cryptography that is called one to many and many to one. How does it work? This is the plain text. We encrypted it into one ciphertext. How about we encrypt it to another ciphertext? How we, do we do it? By a different breakdown. Instead of four, we can use four zero. Instead of seven, one six. Instead of six, two four. Instead of nine, eight one. Now this number is completely different from this number. However, this qualifies as a ciphertext. Why? Because if you take this and you add the digits, four, seven, six, nine, four, seven, six, nine, you got this one. And you can go here with a third way of, with a, a third cipher. Uh, this time it will be uh, two, two, uh, zero seven uh, five one zero nine. So this is another cipher C to V that will decrypt back to the same plaintext. It's always the same plaintext from here, from here, and from here. One to many many to one. And before we leave this concept, let's highlight another important principle, and that is re-encryption. If we encrypted this to this, we can now re-encrypt it. Meaning 1 becomes 0, 1, 3 becomes 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 5, 3, 2, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 0, 3, 2, 1, 6, 1, 5. So what have we done? We have taken this as a plain text, encrypted it into a ciphertext, and re-encrypted it. Now if a hacker will see this, and he has no idea, obscurity, how we derive this from the pin. He will have a hard time going backwards.
that's a paper and pencil example. There are many others that you can see in the uh, Crypto Academy that you can use today when you write your PIN number on your notebook. You just have to remember yourself what method you use. And I can tell you stories from students that told me I, uh, I asked my wife to fax me a number and I said, hey, remember what I told you, what we learned with this professor? Do it this way. And then she transferred the pin in a secure way uh, through the fax, etc. So, this is an example of a paper and pencil cryptography that has practical use because of the obscurity, highlights the principle of the obscurity, highlights the principle of one-to-many, many-to-one, and hi highlights the principle of re-encryption. That's for now.